everybody, welcome back to another video. I just got this box in the mail today. It's a 2012 Topps Baseball Value Box, and you can see it's kind of like a little bit of a variety box. There's five packs of Top Series 1 inside, which would be these ones. Then there's one golden giveaway card, which is going to be long since expired. And then there's two packs of 2012 Topps Heritage, and that is the main draw for this box because you could possibly find Mike Trout's first ever heritage card in here. And there's also an extra Chrome Refactor card. So I paid $29.95 for this at steelcitycollectibles.com. It just came in today. There's even a little bit of a packing peanut on there, fresh out of the box. So let's open this up and see if we can find anything good at all. Um, I wasn't collecting in 2012, so I'm not exactly sure what could be in here in terms of uh, good rookies in series one. I don't think there's any off the top of my head that are going to be valuable from the tops packs, but we'll see. This is kind of like your typical blaster box. I think they probably used to sell these at probably Walmart or Target. So here's all of our stuff inside. Nothing else in there. We got the two um, heritage packs. We'll save those for last. Then we have something there. That might be the Chrome Refactor card. And five packs of 2012 tops featuring Hall of Famer. Roy Halladay on the front. So let's get to open these up and see if we can find anything good. There's eight cards per pack. All right, so here's the design. You might remember these. Some of you probably have a lot of these laying around in your collection. Series one, there's 330 cards in here. We've got Mike Napoli, Nate Sheerholz. Some of these guys are no longer in baseball. Ian Kennedy, Golden Moments card, Lance Berkman. So a bunch of these guys are out of the game now, but Drew Pomeranz is not out of the game. He actually just signed a very nice free agent deal with the Padres for four years. Um, he's going to be their setup guy. Uh, as you might remember, Pomeranz was terrible as a starter uh, last year. Then he switched over to the bullpen and just was lights out, striking out like 40-something percent, maybe 47 percent of the batters that he faced. Uh, so he really kind of reinvented himself and got paid for it. So Drew Pomeranz's rookie card is a nice one there. Drew Storen, former closer for the Nats, Ian Desmond, and then we have these league leader cards featuring Curtis Granderson, Robbie Cano, and Adrian Gonzalez. On to the next pack. See if we can find anything else good. So far, that Pomeranz is probably the best card. All right, so we got Eric Thames on top, then a Golden Greats Joe DiMaggio card. That's just an insert card, not much value to that. Golden Giveaway. Uh, I guess there's a code on the back, which is long since expired. You can see it expired in 2013. Justin Masterson, Delman Young, and then Aaron Crow, John Jaso with short hair. I used to see him with long hair when he was with the Buccos. And then Tim Hudson, who was a really solid pitcher for a lot of years there with the Athletics and the Braves. On to the next pack. Steve Delabar is on the back. We got Hall of Famer Chipper Jones on top. And then Peter Borges. And then there's a 1987 design card. It's a mini of Jason Worth. That's kind of cool. Got another insert card here. Albert Bell and Mike Stanton. So this is before Stanton changed his name over to John Carlos Stanton. I think this might be the last year that he was known as Mike Stanton. Um, went with his birth name, John Carlo, after that. Ike Davis. Pedro Alvarez, who I don't even know if he's still around. Probably in AAA somewhere. Then the Texas Rangers team card and Steve Delabar rookie card worth five cents. Two packs left. Got a league leaders card on the back. Chase Darno, brother of Travis Darno, and then Travis Wood, and we have a and a parallel card coming up. Chris Ionetta. It is unfortunately Jesus Guzman, so not a lot of value to that one, and it's not numbered either. Jim Tummy gold standard card. Another Jesus Guzman. At least Jim Tummy's a Hall of Famer. Brian Pena and Clayton Kershaw is on there with Roy Halladay, who's in the Hall of Fame. Kershaw will be in the Hall of Fame someday. And Cliff Lee, who actually is on the ballot this year for the first time. Um, I don't know if he'll... Honestly, he's not going to get in, but I don't know how much support he's going to get. But... He needs 5% to stay on the ballot. So far, only 10 uh, ballots have been made public. I, I look at that pretty much every day. Right now, Barry Bonds at 70%, along with Roger Clemens. Um, also at 70%. And Derek Jeter, if, um, if the election was held today, Derek Jeter would have 100% 
Unfortunately, though, only that's only like about 2% of the votes. There's going to be a lot more votes coming in. You can check that all out on HallOfFameTracker.com. Uh, it's also uh, a Twitter account. I think it's run by something Thibodeau or something like that, some French name, but he does a great job. We've got a Pedro Alvarez gold sparkle parallel, and then Prince Fielder. And this actually is a hit, guys. I, I thought this was one of those gold standard cards for a second. This is pretty cool. So we actually have a hit. This is a game-used relic of Prince Fielder. Check it out. Prince Fielder, of course, had to retire a couple of years ago despite having a very large contract and also being, you know, pretty productive with all those home runs. Had some, I think, nerve damage in his neck, and his doctor said that he had to walk away from the game or risk long-term um, health problems. So game use, Prince Fielder jersey. That's pretty cool. We used to love seeing Prince Fielder in batting practice. The guy used to put on an absolute show back when he was with the Brewers, and they'd come to PNC Park 19, well, not 19 times. They'd play each other 19 times a year, but they'd, uh, they'd come like 9 to 10 times a year, and he would put on a show in batting practice. Dominic Brown, then we've got, um, Brandon Allen and a rookie card here of Alex Liddy. So you can see the rookie cards that we've pulled pretty weak so far. Drew Pomeranz was the best one. So we got these Heritage Packs now looking for the Mike Trout first Heritage card. By the way, that card is worth about 55 bucks on eBay. I think I saw one listed for 55 on eBay, so that would be a cool pull. We'll save those for last. Let's check out this golden giveaway. I don't know if there's an extra card like buried in here. There might be. There's a Willie Mays on the back, it looks like. So there it is. Willie Mays is the card, and here's this expired uh, code again. Pretty cool-looking card there. Um, that is our Chrome card that they advertise on the front of the box. And I just picked up a Willie Mays card yesterday. 1965 tops for 25 bucks. So I don't know. This might be worth a buck or so, but still pretty cool. All right, now it's time for the main packs that I purchased this for um a box of these again it's like 270 to 300 dollars for 24 packs so i figured you know what we'll just go a smaller sample size and just get two packs out of this let's see if we can find the mike trout first heritage card you can see um nine cards are in the pack there and these are hobby packs i believe it said on the box they're hobby packs so we might have a chance at an autograph let's see if we find anything yep there we go see the hobby insignia right there all right, we got Lance Berkman on the back for the second time. So, Freddie Garcia leads things off. Jonathan Lucroy. And then we have a rookie card there of Tim Fedorovich, Jesus Montero, Austin Romine, and Willin, Willin Rosario. So, not a lot of value to that one whatsoever. Friendly Foes, kind of a cool card there. Ryan Vogelsong and Andre Ethier. Wilson Ramos. Mike Sosha, by the way, the trout card, if I'm not mistaken, has green bordering, so this could be the trout, and it's not. It's Kyle Seeger, Carlos Santana, and Lance Berkman in his Cardinals uniform is the last one. Always weird to see Berkman in the Cardinals uni. I'm so used to seeing him in a Houston Astros uniform, but near the end of his career there, he was a Cardinal. All right, last pack. Let's see if we can find the trout. I hope you guys like this video. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you back. We do these videos Pretty much almost every day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Now let's see if we can find a Mike Trout. Maybe one of these days we'll have to do a whole box of these for a throwback Thursday. That would be kind of fun. All right, so we have Dine Vesedi. Viciedo first. Messed his name up. Viciedo is first, then Tommy Hansen. Yadier Molina, who will be a Hall of Famer someday. Tigers Twirlers, Jose Valverde, who used to be their closer. And Justin Verlander. Nate Sheerholtz, second time we've seen him. Addison Reed, rookie card. And we're down to five cards left. We have a flashback card from 63. Valentina, not even going to try to pronounce that last name. Uh, Soviet cosmonaut. So that's fun. And then we have Alex Rodriguez, who's not in Hall of Fame, but I don't know, has the stats to be there, but he has the PEDs. Uh, swirling around him. And the last card that we have is good old Vance Worley. So we did not find the Mike Trout rookie card. That kind of makes me want to go out and buy a box of uh, Heritage from 2012 to try to find that card for a future Throwback Thursday. Uh, so once again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, again, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new here. And 
I'm probably going to be doing another budget video with taking $50 and going to another store soon this week. Um, probably look for that sometime around Thursday or Friday. So thanks so much, everybody. Hope you have a great week. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving break, and I will see you all tomorrow.